Okay, so the first thing I want to do is apply a hair net to my hair just to protect my hair and pull it all away from my face. Then I'm applying this wig, which is a nice auburn ginger wig. I love this one. I got it from eBay. I will link it down below. It's a more natural looking wig rather than a coloured wig. So I thought I'd go for this one. It really ties in well with the tones. Then for my foundation today, I'm using the NYX Mineral Stick Foundation in 01. I'm going to use this one all over my face and also going to apply this onto my lids for a primer. And then just going to blend this in with a sponge. I'm going to use the Real Technique sponge to blend the foundation in. And then to brighten up my face, I'm going to be using the LA Girl HD Pro Concealer in Porcelain. I'm going to apply this underneath my eyes, down the bridge of my nose, a little bit on my forehead and on my chin. And then again, you want to blend this into the skin using the same sponge. Then I'm going to set underneath my eyes and anywhere else on the face where I may crease. So I'm going to be using the RCMA No Colour Translucent Powder with the sponge again to just press this into the skin and make sure everything is nice and matte. For my eyeshadow, I wanted to go for a matte dark orange, so I'm going to be using this one from Makeup Geek, which is called Morocco. It's a beautiful matte orange tone, I absolutely adore this one. I'm taking a flat eyeshadow brush and bringing it straight out as if it's an eyeliner. I'm also going to create a little wave pattern with this shadow, creating three little bump or waves with this eyeshadow brush. And then I'm going to pack on the orange eyeshadow into the inner corner of the eyes and also bring it underneath each little bump. And I'm also taking it down onto the lid just a little bit. Keeping in with the same tone, I wanted to use a matte dark orangey yellow. But this one is from Makeup Geek and it's called Chickadee. And I'm just going to fill in the rest of the gap with this eyeshadow. Then I'm using this Saharan by Juvia's Place. I love this eyeshadow palette. The colour I'm going in with is Sokoto, which is a beautiful mid-tone corally orange. And I'm going to fill in the gaps where I went over the yellow and I'm just going to blend the two colours together. But leaving that dark yellowy matte colour on the lid so the colour just phases together and blends beautifully. For the liner, you can use a gel liner, a liquid liner, whichever you want to use. I am going with a face paint just because it's more flexible. It's more flowing and easier to use. So I'm using a very thin, fine face brush and I'm just going over the whole edges of the eye. I'm then going to create a little pattern of the wing shape. I'm creating a little pattern within the wing shape 
for the butterfly effect. You can do any pattern you want. Mine is very random, so whichever feels right, I'm just gonna fill in the gaps. And then I'm going over the edges of this eye just a bit thicker, so it looks more like a actual butterfly wing. And I'm also going to create a very thin, detailed winged liner, just so it looks really pretty and flows nicely. Then I'm going to fill in my eyebrow. I'm using the Freedom Brow Made in Taupe, and I'm just going to fill them in and arch them up. For my waterline I wanted to keep it nice and light and brighter and just make it look more wide so I'm going to be using the NYX Jobo pencil in milk and applying this to the waterline. Then I'm using Makeup Geek Shimmer Shimmer Eyeshadow and I'm going to apply this onto the brow bone above the eyeshadow shape that we've just done so it's really shimmery and catches the light beautifully when you turn your head. So I'm going to apply this all along the top edge. Then I'm taking the Snazaroo face paint in white this time. And I'm taking a little cocktail stick and I'm dipping it into the face paint to create these little white dots that a butterfly has on its wing. I really love this detail. I had to go over the dots a few times to make the white really opaque, but it looks absolutely stunning. For my contour today I'm using the Benefits Hula Bronzer and I'm taking the Real Techniques Contour Brush. For my blush today, again, keeping with the orange theme, I'm going to use NARS Blush in Gina. It's a beautiful, slightly shimmery coral blush. It's beautiful and I'm applying this to my cheekbones. And then for my highlighter today, I really wanted to go gold because I feel like the gold tones will suit the orange theme. So I'm using the MAC Extra Dimension Skin Finish in Whisper of Guilt. This is a limited edition item, but I'm absolutely obsessed with this colour. So I'm applying this to the high points of my cheekbones, down the bridge of my nose, and a little bit on my cupid's bow. Then I'm going to take the Maybelline Fit Me Pressed Powder in 120, I believe that is classic ivory, and I'm just going to use a detailed brush here which has a flat edge just to sharpen up my contour and make it look more nice and seamless. So I'm pressing this into the skin, leaving it for about a minute and then just brushing it away. This will make my contour look really sharp and crisp. For today's lip colour I wanted to go with the orange theme again, so I'm using the MAC Retro Matte Liquid Lip Colour in Back in Vogue. I love this colour, it's so pretty. Underneath my eyes it felt a little bit bare so I thought I'd go in with some glitter. I'm taking the E Unique Beauty Me, Myself and I eyeshadow glitter palette and you can customise these with any colours you want. I am taking the middle orange tone glitter, I'm obsessed with this one and I thought I'd press it down the centre portion of my eye just to tie up with the top portion of my eye because it's quite heavy and it needed something there. Show you all the way. 
And then I'm going in with my mascara, which is the PS Amplified Volume Mascara. I'm applying this to my top lashes only. And then again, because the eyes have all the detail and attention, I wanted to do something with the lip, but I weren't too sure. Then I decided to use this beautiful shimmery eyeshadow from Makeup Geek. I'm absolutely obsessed with this colour. This is called Flame Thrower. I'm using a fluffy brush just to press this onto the lip and it adds a beautiful shimmery orange tone. And then for my eyelashes, I'm using some wispy lashes from eBay and I'm just going to use some Eyelore Glue to apply them to my eyes. And that is the finished look. That is my beautiful butterfly orange toned eyes. I absolutely love the way this turned out. And I really was in the mood to do something creative today because I haven't done a creative makeup look in a long, long time. And I've been obsessed with the color orange lately for some reason. So this one really popped in my head. I thought this would be perfect. I have an orange toned wig. Like why not do this one? So I really hope you enjoyed this one and I thought it's perfect for summertime as well. Butterflies is just absolutely beautiful. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time. Bye guys. Guys.